Hello everyone, my name is Prue. And my name is Nicola. Now, people don't seem to trust us. Why? Because, because we're, we're magicians. magicians. When we come out on stage with non-ordinary objects, such as a handkerchief, people automatically become a bit suspicious because, well, why would two teenage girls be holding a handkerchief in 2017? And they're right not to trust us. It's only there for misdirection. Prue, what's misdirection? Misdirection. Misdirection is the action or process of directing someone to the wrong place or in the wrong direction. Thanks, Google. While you're watching the handkerchief, you don't notice the cane behind it. So instead of using objects that look as though they could be purchased at a magic shop, we're going to be using some objects from the audience. So put your hand up if you have some money, like a $10 note. In fact, take that $10 note out and hold it up nice and high. Could you please stand up for us? Everyone, please give our volunteer a round of applause as the usher will lead you on stage. As magicians, we are often asked, is magic real, fate or fake? We hope by the end of you guys watching this act that you'll be able to answer that question. Every Australian $10 note is different. It has two letters from the alphabet followed by an eight-digit number. This combination of letters and numbers makes up the serial number, and every serial number is unique. I just stand there for us. Sure. Firstly, what's your name? Zach. Well done, that's correct. Zach, lovely to meet you. Thank you for helping us out. No and thank you for lending us your $10 note. We'll make sure you get it back. Don't worry. Okay. Now, we needed something else. So I went to my favourite place in the entire world, my pantry, and picked up a snack. Some Doritos. Can you hold these out for me just like that? Thank you very much. Now... Zach, as um, Nicola was saying before, every $10 un um, note is unique because of the different serial number on the note. Zach, I'd like you to read out the serial number for us, it's just down below. As I write it down. Yes. Okay, so it's CD... C... B, sorry. B, yep. 0700... 0700... 3 1 Zero. Great. Now we have that serial number written out to show that we're using the same bill throughout the entire show and not switching it or faking it at any point. Now, Zach, do you know what teleportation is? Yes. Yes. So for those of you who don't know, teleportation is the process of an object disappearing and reappearing in a new place. Now, to illustrate this, Zach, I'd like you to close your eyes for us. Open your eyes. Teleportation. Uh, Zach, you don't look too impressed. No. Yeah, so we're going to show you. We're going to show you something bigger and better. Stand that way a bit, Zach. Yep, Beautiful. It. Our teleportation, teleportation device. Okay. This device is going to teleport your money. Watch carefully. Your device has now teleported to the packet of chips. Thank, Thank you, you and, and good night. Aced it. <laughs> uh, uh, they don't look too impressed. I don't think they believe us. Why don't we just show them? Good idea. Open up You're the saying, packet of chips for us. Okay. I'll hold the mic. And is there anything inside? Feel free to put your hand in, mix it around. Is there anything inside besides chips? I was just going to say there's corn chips. Yeah. <laughs> anything they else? They are Doritos. <laughs> oh, a $10 yeah, there is. note. But, yeah. but how would we know it's the same $10 note? Can you hold that for me? Sure. Thank you. Oh, the serial number. Yeah. Zach, I'd like you to nice and loudly read out the serial number for us. Yeah, it's CB07003100. <laughs> Give him a round of applause. Now, some people would say this event was determined by fate and others would say it was just fake. While others believe it was pure magic. My name is Prue. And my name is Nicola. Thank, Thank you and, and good night. night.